I wasn't going to let it go. I, I couldn't. I couldn't live with myself. An Anderson woman who rushed to help a mother and a baby in danger explains tonight why she felt so compelled to get involved and confront the attacker. She was actually inside of her car when she witnessed all of that violence and she decided to jump in and act. Today, our Jenny Ranovich talked to the bystander who police say likely saved two lives. She spotted the danger while driving Sunday morning. A mom and baby in serious trouble in this backyard being beaten by the woman's fiance. He had that baby viciously trying to pull her out of her arms. It just, it wasn't right. Ashley didn't know this family, but her own instinct as a mother kicked in. You know, all I could think about is if I didn't stop, what would happen to the baby? You know, because they were already fighting and he was already going after the baby. So Ashley put the car in park. Middle of the road and I stopped my car. And she confronted the attacker, 23-year-old Drake Ball. You know, I did what I thought was right. She was being hurt. The baby was being hurt. Somebody needed to intervene. Put the, uh, the safety of others above their own and look out for their neighbors, and that's exactly what she did. I got out of the car screaming at her going, get in my car, get in my car. She says Ball tried to stop mom and child from getting in, blocking the door, going for her phone, then violently kicking a dog in the yard. But eventually, while Ashley called 911, he ran off. Police arrested Ball later that night. Just the vision, I still have it in my head on how he had her and that baby, and that just eats at me. You ready? Come on. But the infant is okay, thanks to a stranger who saw trouble and had to step in. I wasn't going to let it go. I, I couldn't. I couldn't live with myself. Mom and baby are now safe staying with family. Meanwhile, Drake Ball faces charges of felony battery and felony battery to a child. He had his first court appearance here yesterday. He also has a no-contact order with the victims. Jenny Renovich, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.